Imagine you are working in a retail business and responsible for analyzing sales data. An area chart in Excel would be invaluable to visualize the sales revenue for different product categories over a year. That makes identifying top performing segments easier and tracking overall revenue trends efficiently. Hey there Excel enthusiasts, welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA related challenges. I'm Shahriar Abra Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create an area chart in Excel. So, let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. To begin, we have a data set that shows the sales quantity of each laptop model over different weeks. Now that our data is ready, we can proceed to create our first chart. Select the data in the B6 to E12 range. In this case, B6 is the first cell of the column week and E12 is the last cell of the column MacBook Pro 16. Go to the Insert tab on Excel ribbon, click on Insert Line or Area Chart in the Charts group of commands. Choose the Area option under the 2D Area section to insert a simple 2D Area Chart. Now that our chart is inserted, we'll make it more understandable and visually appealing by formatting it. To do this, right click on the chart and click on Select Data from the context menu. In the Select Data Source dialog box, choose Series 1 from the Legend Entries Series option. Click on the Edit button. Here, insert the cell reference of C5 as the series name. It indicates the name of the model MacBook Air M1 and click OK. Repeat the above step for Series 2 and Series 3. Change Series 2 to Dell XPS 13 and Series 3 to MacBook Pro 16. Click OK to confirm changes. Next, let's add access titles to our chart to provide context. The chart is selected. Now click on Chart Elements icon. Check the box for access titles. Now double click on the access titles to edit the text. We will change the Y axis title to sales quantity and the X axis title to week. Now you can clearly visualize the sales quantity of each laptop model over the weeks. But if we want to see the individual contributions of each series while still comparing the overall trends, we can go for the 2D stacked area chart. Select the chart, go to the insert tab, click on insert line or area chart, click on the stacked area option under the 2D area section. And that's it. Now, let's explore the 2D 100% stacked area chart. Again, select the chart in the insert tab, click on insert line or area chart, select the 100% stacked area option in the 2D area section. Wow, that's cool. The 2D 100% area chart takes it one step further by displaying each series as a percentage of the total area, which makes it easier to see the proportional representation of each category. But wait, there's more. Excel also offers 3D area charts. Let's explore that option too. Select the same data range, go to the Insert tab, click on Insert line or area chart. Choose the 3D area option to insert the chart. Now we'll follow the same formatting steps as we did for the 2D area chart. Right click on the chart, click on select data option. Now we'll change the series names. Select series 1, click on edit. Here give the cell reference of cell C5. Click OK. Change series 2 to Dell XPS 13. Click OK. And series 3 to MacBook Pro 16. Click OK. Again, click OK to close the dialog box. We have a real-time 3D area chart before us. There are also two other types of 3D area charts. Let's see how they look. If we select the chart, there's a contextual tab named Chart Design. Here, there's a section named Type. In this section, click on Change Chart Type and you can find these two charts in the change chart type window. 
select the first one and click OK. And here's how it looks. For another one, click on change chart type again and you can find this chart. Click on this and select OK. This is the 100% stack 3D chart. Remember, Excel charting capabilities offer endless possibilities for visualizing data. In this tutorial, we have shown inserting 6 different types of area charts in Excel. Use the one which comes in handy for you. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.